up with Brody. That's what Marty knew. I had sex with my sister's boyfriend. I slept with Natalie. I don't understand. Why are you saying this? Is it because I, I slept with Ford? Are you trying to punish me because Ford is Ryder's father? Michelle and James are having sex. Because I saw them. Okay, not, not, you know, doing it, but after. I saw Michelle leaving his apartment, buttoning her shirt. And I saw James standing in the doorway half naked. It was obvious what had just happened. I can't believe it. Believe it. Wow. Uh, talk about terrible timing. When James was free, you weren't, and now you're free. No, breaking up with Cole, it was, it was still the right thing because Cole had felt so guilty that I was waiting for him. We both need me to move on. I was just hoping that I was going to be able to move on with James. Don't look so excited. I'm sorry, I'm just expecting someone else? Yeah, I was hoping Star to come back. Oh, so you and Star? I'm never gonna be together. But she's committed to Cole. Man, that really sucks. Yeah. I guess you're just gonna have to find a way to move on. I wish I knew how. All right, if this is how Landview does weddings, I don't wanna see a funeral. Car. Too soon. Sorry, sorry. I tend to make jokes in socially awkward situations. We just feel so bad for your sister and her fiance. No, I just never thought my dad could do something like this. Well, I suppose in his eyes, he was just trying to protect them. Like he was trying to protect me from you? No, compared to altering Jessica's paternity test, what he did to us was child's play. No pun intended. Cut her! Sorry. No, don't worry about it. It just came out. Sorry. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's been an awkward day for all of us. Well, hey, why don't we just try and think about the bright side of things? What bright side? Well, nothing worse could happen today, right? Son, you need to know the truth about Aubrey and Cutter. You won't listen to me, so you'll have to see for yourself. It's all in here on this drive. I am not saying this to get back at you. The last thing I want to do is hurt you, Jess. That's why I didn't tell you before. you first so I could try to make you understand. How am I supposed to understand? The man that I was going to marry cheated on me with my sister! So that's what you wanted to tell me about you and Brody? Marty knew I was going to tell you everything. Everything? What else is there? Surprise dinner at the Buenos Dias? Well, I know how much you guys love Carlotta's flan. It's flan, first of all. Second of all, I also like, you know, sesame encrusted tuna, which is what I pre ordered on my RSVP and which is what I would be eating right now if you hadn't insisted on boycotting your niece's weddings. Reception food, really? Yeah. Oh, you're not missing anything. Everyone's probably over there right now. Couples are probably enjoying their first dances. You must look at this right away. Then you'll know everything you need to know about Aubrey. 
Oh, I don't know what to do now. My father's been arrested. My mother's out looking for Charlie. My sisters haven't come back. So I guess it's safe to say there will be no weddings today. Do you want to go down to the police station and help your dad? Help him? No, I can't even look at him. No, and I definitely don't want to hear anything he has to say. You know, why don't we just get out of here? Yeah. Okay. Joey, wait. This is for you. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, I was just cleaning up a little. No, 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 you do not have to do that. I don't mind. It was already enough that you were babysitting with Langston. I mean, Hope can wear anyone out. Well, she likes to play. I can relate. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Sure. I'll be right back. I'm going to uh, go tuck Hope in. I still can't get over how great you were with Hope. Well, like I said, I had a little experience with James. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, why is Star back? I thought that her and James would, you know, be off celebrating or, you know, getting back together. Yeah, well, they didn't get together thanks to you. What are you talking about? You told James to move on, and your little brother couldn't keep it in his pants long enough to wait for Star. Oh, what kind of jerk am I waiting for something that's never gonna happen? I know how you feel. Danny and I haven't, uh... Done it. Yeah, it's probably pretty hard to get a, some alone time with her dad being so overprotective. No, 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 it, it's not that. It's just, um... Well, Denny hasn't... Uh... She's still a virgin. Oh, but my little brother isn't? All right. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah? All right, tell me, when did that happen? Uh, it's a while ago. Before we came to Landview. Okay. Danny and I talked about it, and she said she wasn't ready, and I'm okay with that. It's just, it's still... It's tough. Yeah. So that's why I'm here. I thought, Ford, give me some pointers. On how to get Danny to have sex with you? I think Nate and Danny would have liked that wedding. Yeah. Wedding schmetting. <laughs> You're one side of vows, you heard them all. Even ours? Oh, it's different. Why? Because it was ours. But other people's, other people's weddings are snooze fests. Mm. Besides, didn't you have enough fun with your stripper? Stripper? Yeah. How many of my dollar bills went into that guy's thong? Okay, first of all, they were my dollar bills, okay? Second of all, I can assure both of you that they were very well spent. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, what do you got? Listen to me. What do you guys have planned for tonight, you and Nate? It's Valentine's Day. I don't know. Just know that we're gonna be together. <laughs> You're kidding me. Well, 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 don't go to press until I figure out the headline, all right? Cool, yeah. I owe you chicks an apology. For what? Turns out that double wedding was anything but boring. I need you to understand. Exactly what happened that night that Brody and I got together. Yeah, I'm listening. I would never, never cheat on you, Jessica. This thing with Natalie wasn't an affair. It was a one-time thing when we were together, and and I thought I would. <laughs> I thought I'd lost you forever. We were not back together yet. It was the night that I wrote you the note to meet me at Rody's at midnight if there was still a chance for us. And you didn't show up. And then I saw you with Marty. So I thought that our chance was over. I was leaving Landview for good. It was the night of the prom. You were still confused and you were chasing after Christian and I, I was so... Desperate to get you back, and I, I pushed you to remember what Mitch had done to you. But it backfired. You were so furious, you told me you never wanted to, to see me again. And I believed you. So I, I 
bought a bottle and went back to my room and I, and I drank a lot. I got really, really drunk. And I went to Brody's to say goodbye. Bye. Yeah. I'm leaving Lambview for good. And he'd been drinking. I joined him. John's been in my heart so long. I don't know how to get him out. Jessica was the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I lost her for good. And we were just trying to make the pain stop. And then the kiss just happened. Say goodbye. I thought we'd never see each other again. We were just lonely. And John, it was one mistake. It was one horrible mistake. It was only one night. It never happened again. That's not the end of the story, is it? <laughs>